Hey what's up guys GK here. By end of this video, we are going to learn how to create custom images in Google Cloud. If you are not aware of what are custom images, basically the images that you would create uh, from your base image meaning from a marketplace image and you install some software in that and then you use that image while creating a VM. And as you know in most of the companies, they don't use the default images that uh, that you get in the marketplace like you know like when we provision a compute engine we we, we just use the default uh, ubuntu image or uh, centos image so companies don't do that because they like to pre-bake some software like some you know security softwares or, or um, some vulnerability scanners as part of their images and they would allow only those images to be used when employees provision instances in google cloud be it google cloud or be, be it amazon that's the general you know security posture that companies follow if you want to create a custom image you can go to the console you can click on images and from here you can create an image you would have to choose you know the source disk or uh, the source would be another image and based on this you're going to uh, create an image that that can be done but that's a manual process or maybe you can automate using apis but in this video we are not going to follow those manual steps but we are going to follow an easy way a way that can be automated and a way where you can create a custom image with just one click of a button that tool is called packer if you have watched my previous terraform video you know a company called hashicorp hashicorp is one of the best companies where they create awesome tools like you know terraform packer and which are completely open source so with packer all you have to do is we have to provide a script uh, a template where we're going to say like you know which which base image we want to use and that and then using that base image we're going to create a custom image by installing our software in that so let's get started and let's go through all the steps that are required uh, for you to play around with this packer tool all right first things first what we need to do is we need to install the packer now there are ways to install packer there are at least two ways where you can install packer one way is you know compiling the package from using source uh, but the other way is you know using a pre-compiled package like we did in terraform case for that uh, i'm gonna paste these commands in the description as well just have to do wget for linux and if you're using for windows they have installation packages for windows as well you know you can go to the download section and you can select windows and you can download it but since we are using it for linux copy the link copy link address and go to your shell so basically the tutorial here is i'm going to use my client which is outside of google cloud right so i'm going to do the same way like i've done using terraform so i have a ubuntu installed on my windows desktop or laptop right now here i'm going to do wget um packer package once you have that unzip it um, using unzip packer uh, which i already did so if you see you will have a packer existing in my home directory you want to make sure that this home directory is set in the shell path which i've done in my previous case when i was using terraform which is like echo you know dollar path is equal to slash home 25 so when you do that it's going to add this to the path and if you do dollar path you're going to see that the path is already set in my case right now i did control c in my previous command because the path is already set so do clear screen and once you set the path make sure you do packer version check that the packer is successfully available uh, for you to run when the path is correctly set so now the first step is done right we have installed the packer we have set the path we have checked and verified first step is good now the second step as usual what we need to make sure is we have the service account where we're going to use the service account and connect to my google cloud from my you know windows desktop let's go to 
cloud console and let's go to IAM section click on service accounts so here click on create service account if you have any questions on service account go back to my service account video where I have clearly explained how to use service accounts you can create a something like image builder and call it as service account for packer create and there are two permissions that you have to give here since we are dealing with compute we have to give compute engine instance admin so copy this and you would see compute engine or rather compute instance admin v1 click on that add another role which is my bad which is um, service account user So search here you would see service account user continue that's it you have your service account successfully created now create the key copy the JSON file and I have done that step now if I go back to my shell you would see I have a service account key that is copied here basically you know if I go back to my service accounts I'm going to use the account that I have created previously. All right, so with that, we have completed second step as well, where we have service account. Now, using the service account, we're going to talk to uh, Google Cloud and create the image, right? Now, let's discuss about how to use Packer. So, Packer basically relies on something called Packer template. A template is nothing but a JSON object. Like if you see as an example here, let me open notepad so that I can show you with a bigger font. Now, this whole thing is a JSON object, right? And inside the JSON object, you have builders, which is a key component where you're going to specify the essential requirements to build an image. This is very important. Now, builder is an array of JSON objects. You can have you know multiple JSON objects inside builder for this demo I'm just using Google compute as a type the type is essential account file is a service account um, you know that we have created and project ID is obviously the project ID and source image is the image that we're going to use as a base image where you know we're going to use the base image and install some software in the base image and then package it like you know by definition of packer itself you're going to package that image with some predefined software or pre-baked software and then create a custom image ssh underscore user is where packer is going to create this user in that vm and use this user to do all those operations so basically this user will also have the pseudo permission and you know this user will try to uh, install this install the package or do any such any such operations that we are going to uh, mention here now zone obviously zone now the next important component is provisioners so this array has a json object where you're going to have like you're going to specify what exactly you want to provision inside that vm or rather what you want to bake inside that image right now, for instance in this example i'm going to provision a type called file and i'm going to create the file in that destination in that image so and in this demo i'm gonna just make sure that this file is existing whenever people use this custom image if you have any questions on these parameters that you know the key value pairs uh, that you would want to use i'm gonna paste the link as well for the google compute builder and you can you can see all the options that are mentioned here for example you know if you want to create you want to use a specific image name by default it uses packer hyphen timestamp but you want you can create a specific image name saying that you know you want to give this to a specific team like data science hyphen timestamp or something like that so the image labels are often used in the companies because you know you want to specify 
which type of images are suited for which team which application team you might not use the same image for every application team these are the common things but again you can go through this file and you can you can play around with all these you know different uh, parameters we have completed two things we have install packer we have service account key file now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this sample template and paste that here i'm going to call it as nano is a like vi editor right nano and the file name the packer demo dot json paste paste it here okay now we have builders type google compute and account account dot json is incorrect so let's get this file name control x save it sure the file name is packer svc dot json this is a service account file i'm gonna go back here and delete this paste it here and project id can get it from here copy this paste it a source image is where you know for example if you want to use centos or if you want to use uh, debian you can use your base source image so if you have any questions around that you can go to compute now we are done with iam so let's go to the compute engine section here click on images on the left side search for debian i'm going to use debian buster which is commonly used and copy this debian 10 buster Okay, good. Uh, got extra space. And username is Packer10, um, rather Packer, and US Central 1A file. So here we're going to create a file. I'm going to create a gk.log as a source file, which I'm going to put it here. And destination we have to create it in temp, which is perfect. And now save it so we have packer and demo.json file is good what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our vm instances so that you will see what's going to happen now just one command you're going to see a magic that's going to happen so before i run packer i'm going to do packer validate the file name is packer demo or json there seems to be some issue with something let's go back to packer demo json and i gave two commas delete it save it now let's validate it again Okay, it knows that there is no gk.log file, so I'm we're gonna create a, a sample gk.log file. Say that um, created by Packer. Perfect. Now let's try it again. So template validated successfully. Clear the screen. We're going to do Packer build packer demo.json the command here is packer build and packer hyphen demo.json is the template enter you're gonna see you know it's trying to create an image so before it creates an image it first has to create a vm now i'm searching for refresh okay all right now you see here i refreshed it 
and if i go back it created an instance and you can see the external ip address here and now it's waiting for ssh to be available so that it can log in to that instance using packer username and then it's going to create that uh, file inside that and then it's going to create an image so whatever it is trying to do it is the same manual steps that you would do to create an image basically because they have libraries that they have automated using packer you don't have to do all that stuff so it copied uh, gk.log to gk temp gk.log now it's deleting the image rather it's deleting the instance you can see deleting the instance and eventually we would see that the images section will have a new image new custom image we would know as soon as you see that the image is created here one thing that i want to note here is when i was using os login i it, it failed with ssh uh, so i haven't debugged and i haven't tried beyond that i removed os login but if you want to try it you can give it a try and and debug that as well so i have disabled os login for packer I'm gonna take a while maybe i'll pause this video save some time okay now you can see here it deleted the instance it created the image deleted the disk and the build is finished and if i refresh here you would see that uh, the packer image is created so this is a custom image now um, what we can do to verify you know the actual thing like the gk.log is present whenever your employees are gonna create a new compute engine using this custom image right so let's go back to the vm instances and create a new vm So in the image in the boot disk change it and select the custom images it would list all the custom images that are shown in this project this is one custom image that we have created now select that select and create let's wait for the instance to be created and then we will ssh and we will verify if the file got created all right so now the instance got created we're going to do ssh we should see that gk.log file present that instance one thing though i made a small modification to the file i'm gonna paste the contents as well in the description or in my github page one small modification that i made to that file was that you know once the file is created i've copied that file i moved that file basically from temp gk.log to home packer so this is how you have to use once you have copied the file you have to use um, shell inline provisioner to move the contents of the file to the actual destination of of the user you know if i have to show you that sudo su now if i do su packer you see the gk.log file that's copied and it moved from our source client machine the target compute engine so basically any compute engine now whichever so any compute engine going forward that's going to use the image that we have used created with packer is going to have this gk.log file i mean this is just an example but you can use this to uh, install a software install apache or whatever software you want to use and then provision um, make sure that all the images that you're going to use have that software installed with that um, i think this gives you a clear understanding and gives you a quick start guide sort of uh, for packer tool i hope you can extend your knowledge beyond what i have showed here and you know practice more using packer and that's all for this demo thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a quick like and also share this video with your friends thank you all